Hi, I'm Wayne Pekarski, and I'm here today at the Assistant Sandbox area of Google I.O. 2019. And we're in the Smart Home area, and I have Carl Vogel here from the product team. And what we're going to be talking about today is Smart Home and what it means and what it means for developers. So Carl, like, what is the developer story and what, what is Smart Home all about? Smart Home is a way for users to control all the connected devices in their house. Everything from smart lights and smart thermostats to even smart plugs and even vacuum cleaners now. Okay, cool. So, I mean, what does it mean for developers? Like, can anyone build for this Smart Home? Exactly, so we have over 3,500 brands that go ahead and integrate with Google Assistant and are growing rapidly. Anyone can go into the Actions on Google console and integrate their smart devices into Google Assistant such that users can control them with just the Assistant and their voice. Okay, cool. So this year, Google I.O. 2019, I'm understanding we've announced their local home SDK. Yeah. So what's that about, and what, what's new for developers, and why are they interested in this? It's great. So developers today integrate with the Google Assistant via the Smart Home API, which is a cloud-to-cloud -cloud integration. Okay. And cloud-to-cloud -cloud integrations naturally have some amount of latency and reliability. So we want to provide a method for developers to process those smart home intents locally on Google Home speakers and Google Nest displays, such that they, we can um, turn off turn on and off the lights and other things much faster and with higher reliability. We do it directly by skipping the cloud, basically. Yeah, we, we, yeah. Skip, we skip that developer's cloud and they can replicate their business logic there and run it on our devices. Okay, well, what excites me the most is that here at I.O. we have this fantastic demo that we've built. It's a great So demo. we have this great train set here that's designed to demonstrate local versus cloud execution. Yep. So I guess there's this button here that I really want to press. Give me so, one second okay. if I can, Wayne. Okay. So what we're looking at is this is the local network and this is the internet once the query leaves the user's home. We have the life of a local query and a life of a cloud query. Okay. So with that, go ahead and push right, the button. So we're going to race some trains here that they're going to go around and then these light bulbs are going to come on when yep. they're done. Okay, here we go. Here we have the user saying, turn on the lights. Okay, great. And we see these two queries going to the assistant go, go, go. server and they're both going to be processed in the same way. And via the Smart Home API, they go ahead and, event, and we send that to the partner cloud or developer cloud where they go ahead and process that intent and ultimately then fulfill it. If we know the device is locally controllable, then we'll send that command back down to the Google yep. Home device where we'll then pull up the developer's JavaScript to process that intent where they can communicate with their, their light. Look, turn it on. That one's done. This there one's still go. coming by yeah, the cloud. Yeah, it's still coming in. It's going to get there. there. We go. Yep. So what this does, again, highlights the increased latency uh, reduced latency that we can get with the local home SDK and local operations. Well, this is awesome. I really love this train set. I've always loved trains since <laughs> I was a kid, so this is a really fun demo. Um, so where, where can developers go to learn more about the local home SDK? Yeah, g.co slash local home SDK is our landing page. We also are giving a talk uh, Wednesday at 5.30 p.m. called Local Technologies for the Smart Home. So if you're interested, check it out and learn more. And it's also on YouTube as well, so people can exactly. check that out too later those. on. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. Well, thanks for your time, Carl. Yeah, thanks, Wayne. And thanks for watching the video. Um, this was the Assistant Sandbox area, so we'll see you next time.